Ooh, that rifle's dialed in. Think about this. When do bad people do their things? When do bad people be bad? For the most part, it's at nighttime. Why? Because they do it under the cover of darkness. It's kind of like hogs. When do hogs get out and do their bad thing and, and, and start destroying stuff? Under the cover of darkness. So what we do is we're going to go out, we're going to take armor sites, thermal vision and night vision equipment. I'm in. And we're going to go take care of some feral hogs. Here at Hogwild Adventures, we have a thousand acres and uh, it's typical East Texas uh, country, you know, thick pines. We have a lot of cows here, and uh, because of the cows, we have a lot of hogs. We've walked around, we found some fresh sign, and here's some poop. This is relatively fresh poop. Okay, the, the good thing about this poop that that tells us is it's fresh, so it hadn't been long since an animal's here, but at the same time, too, it's big around. Okay, that indicates that it's a much larger size hog. Another thing we have here, we have some water. Okay, and hogs love water. Every animal's got to have water. They're going to come and they're going to wallow. Everybody hears about hog wallows, and I want to point something out here. On top of this log right here, we have, we have uh, dried mud tracks around the watering hole, but I'm going to show you something over here that I really like seeing because this tells me that we've got some really, really big hogs. Come with me. The significance of this right here is, look how high this is off the ground. How do you think that got there? That got there from a hog. This right here, he was rubbing himself so much. So many of them have rubbed here for so long, they've actually rubbed the bark off the tree. So this tells me, ooh, this is not good. Look at this. Okay, this tells me that they've spent a lot of time here, but what that tells me right there, what I was doing just then, is I was kicking up this loose, fine dirt, and I was checking for the wind. You have to hunt with the wind in your face on a hog. See this? The wind is going this way. And so what I've got to do, I've got to hunt with the wind in my favor, in my face. So now that I've found a spot that the animals, I know they're frequenting. I know that they're spending a lot of time here. Now I need to find a spot that's really good so I can set the stand up where they won't smell me. Okay, this setup here ought to be absolutely perfect for a hog. But the techniques used to set up a good spot for a hog hunting is the same for a white-tailed deer. For example, look for natural sign. There's all the indicators out there. You just need to spend enough time out in the woods to be able to find it, to read it, and be able to understand what it all means. In this case, I think the most important thing there is out there with all the signs, always make sure and read the wind. Hunt with the wind in your favor, and odds are you'll have a more successful hunt. Well, the thing about thermal is that I look at it, they're, they're nothing but different tools. You got thermal and you got night vision. And it's like, uh, you know, they, they both do a great job. Let me ask you a question. As, as uh, being at Optics Planet, the thing that, there's a lot of people watching this show probably never heard of Optics Planet except on our TV show. Okay, Optics Planet is a e-commerce company that sells uh, equipment that you would be interested in. But when it comes to night vision equipment, especially stuff by Armasite, explain to them when they contact somebody at Optics Planet the knowledge that they're going to get from talking to people to help 
put them in the right product. So basically with any of the Armacite products that we stock at Optics Planet, we have reps from Armacite that come in and teach our whole customer service staff. So they're pretty much like somebody working from Armacite picking up the phone at Optics Planet. When you pick up the phone and you deal with the people at Optics Planet, it's going to be evident from the very first conversation that these people know what the heck they're talking about. And I mean, it, it can be intimidating. So deal with somebody that you, that you, that you know is knowledgeable. So anyway, good job. Yeah. I think uh, that uh, we're going to go back and we're going to see how well the, the, the old knife works on it. But look at the dust come off of that thing. <laughs> I mean, these guys make a living out here and this is some kind of tough country. And uh, this pig right here, I'm guessing is probably around 110 pounds. It is a great eating size hog.